Good morning and thank you all for being here today. I am very excited to be standing here next to Governor McMaster and Secretary Grimsley and alongside our newest ambassador, Quentin Gibson for Guitars for Vets. It gives me great pleasure to be here today to announce the start of the South Carolina chapter of Guitars for Vets. When I learned about Guitars for Vets, I did a little more research and I discovered that the state of South Carolina did not have a state chapter. We did have one local chapter in Charleston, um, but not a state chapter for a state that has so many veterans. So I was very excited to reach out to Guitars for Vets and then become their South Carolina chapter liaison. Being a granddaughter of a local country music singer who was also a World War II veteran, this means a great deal to me and I'm very happy to have the support of the state. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Secretary Grimsley to tell us more about this program. Thanks. Well, thank you, Heather, very much. And, and by the way, none of this is going to happen, none of this could happen without this very nice young lady who reached out to me several months ago and got this going. So as you've heard us say many times, veterans are like all other people, but different. And we all face challenges and opportunities in life, but veterans especially so. And so now we have the opportunity to bring more of that to the forefront and really address it. And, and like all other people, <clears throat> there are lots of risk factors in our lives, and they, they comprise a pretty complex set of who we are as people. But when you address the risk, risk factors all together, that just seems to mandate that there's no one simple solution to address any of the challenges or more importantly, to really seek the opportunities to take care of our people, and especially our veterans. And so to that end, sometimes it's clinical, sometimes it's therapy, but oftentimes there's an alternative means to be able to do that, and that's what we're really talking about here today. And so I'm extraordinarily excited to be able to play a small part in helping facilitate this. Um, uh, one of the things we have learned, and one of the things we're charged to do is in the South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs is to be an integrative body, to connect resources to needs from whatever sector they start, and to really be able to pull that together. So take this as a small soundbite, if you will. Heather, private citizen of the great state of South Carolina, is in touch with Guitars for Vets, a national nonprofit organization dedicated to providing musical opportunities, lessons, and equipment to veterans, and most and instruction, to veterans to be able to take care of them and provide one of those alternative things. She calls us, the South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs, a state government entity. We then start to spread this out and about. We get the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, which is one of the places that we will be able to provide this service to the great Veterans Health Administration at Dorn uh, Medical Center, as they're doing in Ralph Johnson in Charleston, and be able to then proliferate this statewide eventually across all of our community outpatient, outpatient clinics and all over the state. That's the goal of this, is to really grow this across all of South Carolina. And then to add even more a little bit uh, of the goodness in this, in addition to the guitars for vets and the guitars we're talking about here today, she was able to take some small portion of guitars and donate them to the Big Red Barn retreat up in Blythewood, another one of our great state nonprofits who are really working on post-traumatic growth for our veterans. That's the beauty of this organization. This is the connective body, the connective tissue of things we're trying to do here to bring it all together to put resources to needs. And so to that end, I think this is extraordinarily exciting. And I think we have a tremendous opportunity to grow this uh, because as I am uh, charged and told repeatedly, this is all about communicating, collaborating, cooperating, and any other great C word uh, that you want to bring to bear. And, and, and the man who comes out with that alliterative phrase most often who leads us throughout all this is our Chief Executive Officer of the great state of South Carolina, the man I'm honored to introduce, Governor Henry McMaster. Sir. This, uh, thank you. Well, y'all, thank you very much. This is a great thing. There are a lot of great things happening in South Carolina, and one of them, as you know, of course, this is a strong military state. It's part of what makes us strong, part of what makes us different from a lot of other places. 
We have eight major mi uh, military bases in the state, enormous military presence. We have our National Guard is always ranked number one around the country in various categories, always, constantly. We're ready. Um, we have the Coast Guard is also assimilating in, in Charleston. We have about 400,000 veterans whom we honor and we're delighted to have in our state. Our, we, Fort Jackson is the largest Army training base in the country. About half the troops, I believe, General, uh, currently go through there. Uh, so this, the, the convergence of music and the military, the, the traditions of both are, are very interesting. And uh, we love music in South Carolina. We, we cherish all of our artists. Delighted to have them here. We'd like to have more. Uh, they exemplify the talent we have here. And I believe that this program will, will help. The music we know soothes. Everyone here has a favorite song or songs. They can, and you can hear it, and it'll take you back to when you were there and what you were there when you were there. It's soothing, it's strengthening, and to have this available to our cherished veterans for what they have done for all of us is a, is a wonderful thing. And I, I have a prediction that not only will this, will this do make a lot of our people feel better, more healthy, more vigorous, more able to utilize their talents. But I bet there's going to be some music that will spring from this because good music typically springs, springs from experiences, whether in our childhood or in various situations. And our veterans, among all of us, has certainly been in plenty of situations that would allow for soul searching and understanding the true meaning of life and what is important and what is not. So this is a great step forward. So on behalf of 5.2 million proud, happy South Carolinians, I want to thank all involved for doing this today. It is a great thing for South Carolina. Thank you. Thank you very much, Governor. And so just very briefly, it's my honor to introduce now, as you've already heard, Quentin Gibson. He is the lead guitarist for Darius Rucker, a native son of our great state. And uh, he covers all genres of music, but perhaps most germane to this conversation. He's a guy who has overcome a whole bunch of things in his life to be extraordinarily successful. We talk about struggling well. We all struggle in life, but you struggle well, but you take those things and you build resilience. This is a guy who knows how to struggle well. And I think he's just going to bring enormous skills, talents, passion, energy, and devotion to what I believe is a tremendous cause. So thank you very much. And the floor is yours, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Wow. What an honor. I remember when Heather contacted me last uh, December, and uh, she asked me if I would do a, uh, a virtual performance for, uh, for veterans. And immediately, of course, I was like, yes. And so I, I did a, a little Christmas performance um, on Zoom and recorded it and sent it to her. And we got to talking about Guitars for Vets. And you know, it, it, really, it really touched the core of my feelings about the military and my great love of music. And in my career, I've seen how music is so impactful. It's such a universal language. It can get you down, it can get you up, it can make a bad day great. Um, and it has such an incredible healing power so, of course, when we talked about my involvement with Guitars for Vets, uh, it just seemed like the right thing. And it's, and it's an honor to be here. And um, I really look forward to an exciting uh, future. And we are also going to be donating guitars to veterans. And I'll be providing some guitar lessons. And it's going to be really cool. And I'm looking forward to it. And Appreciate your time, and Heather, if you want to take it. Well, thank you everyone for being here, and I think Quentin downplayed um, his role. Um, as I said earlier, he is, we are proud to announce today officially that he is our newest Guitars for Vets ambassador, and he will be focused really in the South and in South Carolina. Uh, and he has already put together a video for our veterans that has gone out through the Department of Veterans Administration. 
and he has put together a training video for them. And like he said, he is committed to training our veterans uh, via Zoom, so everybody will be safely, you know, socially distanced safely, but still learn how to play guitar. And I just thank you all for accepting Guitars for Vets in the state of South Carolina, and I look forward to helping our vets heal through the power of music. So thank you. Questions. Are there any questions? I know Guitars for Vets' ultimate goal is any veteran in the state of South Carolina that is interested will be allowed to participate. Um, just so everyone here knows, it costs about $200 for us to give a veteran a guitar and then give them the training lessons. So they get about 10 lessons, one-on-one uh, -on -one lessons, and then the guitar as well. All right, no more questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.